We're here at GSI in the Back Endurance Laboratory. We'd like to demonstrate ASTM D as in David 4355, which is the Xenon Arc weathering test. Uh, this is typically done on GIA textiles, but a, a plethora of different GIA synthetics. I have a demonstration of two of them in front of you. This is a non-woven textile, which is pretty easy to prepare. The woven textile is a little bit more difficult. You have to set it up as a ravel strip method this is to be tested in strip tensile test um, before and after exposure. So you have to set this up to uh, a two inch wide uh, specimen, 50 millimeters, and it'll be tested according to ASTM D5035, strip tensile, the ravel strip method. The orientation of the fibers are very important and you can imagine it in the machine direction if you're missing one of these fibers it'll be significant. Now let's go to the device. This is a Xenon Arc weatherometer from Atlas. The uh, business part of uh, the specimen is this uh, bulb. They're quite expensive. Uh, this is the actual arc with it contained with inside the bulb. So uh, this tube um, is, is very important, but this is just the inside lamp, so to speak. This lamp is actually housed in a uh, assembly like this. This is where the electrode is attached to, and there's actually two filters associated with an inner and outer borosilicate filter, which has to be managed. So in between the two filters, uh, rarefied water or purified water, reagent grade water passes, and that's to cool down the bulb with respect to time. So this is the, the lamp which is inside the two borosilicate filters and water uh, going through the annulus to uh, cool this down. So uh, this is the, the main part of the apparatus. It sits in the um, center of the apparatus and you'll see a drum later on with the samples spinning around the outside. Okay, so you have a total of 10 machine direction specimens. You're gonna test five before and five after exposure and then get a percent strength retained from that. Uh, the five specimens have to be exposed to the weatherometer for 500 total hours uh, in the Xenon Arc apparatus. This particular one is an Atlas CI-35. The machine's a little dated, but it still works very well. There are much more modern pieces of equipment and several different vendors for these. Uh, you want to set the machine up for an exposure of a 120 minute cycle. There's 90 minutes of light and then there's 30 minutes of light and spray. On this particular machine, it's set up on these cams uh, back here. So you also want to set the apparatus up to give uh, 65 degrees plus or minus three uh, black panel uh, temperature. And this is uh, typically done off of a thermocouple like this, which is suspended within the rack inside. You'll see that a little later on. The relative humidity for this device, you would like to see it set up in the neighborhood of 50% uh, plus or minus 3, and that's for the 90-minute uh, portion of light. Uh, you'd like to maintain an irradiance level of 0.35 watts per meter squared per nanometer at uh, 340 nanometers, and that's set up within the machine. This machine will keep track of uh, the parameters that you set and uh, subsequently the setting of the uh, irradiance level is right here. The machine is turned on. Uh, there's a lot of water circulating. It's a bit noisy for us. And then this, uh, you uh, spark the lamp. We'll show you inside the device now and also the uh, distilled deionized water plant that feeds this machine and cools the bulb. Okay, this is the water purification plant that's associated with the uh, weatherometer, and it's a, a four-stage process. The first of which is a, a particulate filter, then it goes through a, uh, another filter which is uh, activated carbon, and then it goes through a uh, 
DI mixed uh, bed reaction. After all this, uh, those three stages, it goes through a final stage of a uh, reverse osmosis uh, membrane to uh, purify this thing. You then, uh, after this plant has operated, there's a final filter inside the machine and that final filter is to uh, make sure everything's polished as far as the water is concerned prior to going through the annulus between the two bore silicate filters uh, that are cooling down the lamp with inside the xenon arc apparatus. Now we're looking inside the apparatus and you see the specimens. The specimens are actually strapped to this drum which is uh, movable and it actually spins around the lamp the lamp is right here with the bore silicate filters. This is the electrode coming down to the base of it. The water goes in between. There's also spray. This is the spray with the cycle for the 30-minute uh, cycle. And that's on the outside of the material. There's also water within the base of this material, of this device, uh, as it spins around. You'll expose the sample for 500 hours and then subsequently uh, take them out and uh, conduct strip tensile tests on the specimen. This is ASTM D4355 Xenon Arc weathering test and it's for geotextiles and a plethora of other geosynthetics. This is the Xenon Arc weathering.